Hey guys, Joelster here. Welcome back to the channel. And this time I am working with the Bava projector. Of course, this is an ultra short throw laser projector. And the reason I'm doing this video is because there is a new update that is available right now for every one of you guys, every user there is out there. And I'm going to explain to you just a little bit more of, uh, about this update. It, they'll give you some explanation here, but I have more um, information that was sent to me directly from Baba. All right, so if you're interested, if you have this kind of projector in your home and you're interested in updating it, this video is for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Jolster, and let's do this. All right, guys, so I just finished downloading this software update and it's super simple. You don't have to go to your computer and download to a thumb drive and connect it, nothing. Everything is available right here as soon as you connect your projector to the internet. Super simple. After that, there are there's gonna be some changes. So first is gonna be option to go directly to an HDMI interface after power, of power on the projector. So before every time you turn on and off the pre off or on the projector, you will go through this. So, so this is the main interface. So before you do that, let's go into the settings. And then I, I believe it's under source. No, it's under display. So then let's go, we'll go down and then right here it says boot source. This is where you get to choose where you want or which uh, source you want it to be when you turn on the projector so you can choose HDMI AV or close HDMI 1 or 2 in my case I'm using HDMI number 2 and the reason is because that's where I have my fire stick connected to that so that's where I want it to be so let's go back over here let me turn off and on the projector to see if that actually works so I'm powering that off All right, so it's back on and it's starting up my fire stick. So that's really cool. I like that. Maybe if you want to connect your, I don't know, maybe your soundbar or your console or your Xbox or maybe your Blu-ray player, whatever you want, that is where it's going to start every time you turn on the projector. Or you can always have it to go through the interface as well. So there it is. Turn it on and it goes directly to my fire stick. Cool, now it works. All right, let's go back to the interface real quick. Let's see what else they change. So now it says time zone setting correction option. Okay, so this was very annoying because every time I will try to set up my time, it'll reset every time I turn off or on the projector. As you guys notice, the time is correct. I'm here in California. So in order for you to do this, let's go into settings. Let's go into general and let's go down here. It says to do time zone selection. So you have dozens of time zone, time zone selection. In my case, I'm using Pacific time. There's many, many options right here, guys. <clears throat> but the cool thing that it now it'll save, it'll stay safe on the projector. So it's nice to have uh, you know, I watch right there at time and you guys can know what time it is sometimes. So thank you, Gaba. Thank you for fixing that. There's another, uh, new update option to see and kill services by double click the home button to optimize the system performance. Okay. So basically this is when you have different applications open. So in this case, if you go to the Aptoid TV, you can download different applications like Netflix and all that stuff. Honestly, I don't use this because some of them, they're very old applications. Some of them, they don't work fine. So I use my Fire Stick for this, but <clears throat> now you can kill this by double clicking the home button. So if I double click the, the home button, let me see if it works. There it is. Okay. So there it is. You can kill all these applications that are open. You go down press X and you close them, press X and you close them. Okay, there it is. Nice. So they added that. Okay, what else they did? 
Fix the color screen when playing videos that support Dolby Vision and HDR10 at the same time. Okay, so I had this issue before. So let's go to my Fire Stick. Let's go HDMI number two. And right here, so what happened before is that every time I was playing something from HDR, HDR from Netflix, I will get, uh, instead of HDR, I will get Dolby Vision. So for example, over here, the Irishman, I know that the Irishman supports HDR, but before it used to be just like Dolby Vision. So every time I was trying to watch this, I couldn't because I was getting the, like a whole red picture. It's just the colors were all distorted. It looked really awful. So it just wouldn't work. Now they fixed that. So every HDR content, it is going to be displayed in HDR. So that's really cool. And finally, they also optimized the CEC feature and optimized the ARC feature. So basically CEC is that you're able to control other devices and ARC is the audio return channel. Um, I'm, they used to always work fine, uh, but I'm glad they optimized. So you see now I'm using the Vava controller and I'm able to control my Fire Stick. So I don't need to worry about the Fire Stick controller. I can do everything through here. So that's really cool. And also I'm able to control the volume from the sound bar through my Vava controller, which I honestly, I never had any issues with that, but they said they optimized that and they also fixed some bugs, some bugs that the projector had. So that's pretty much it guys. If you already bought this projector, well, make sure you get this update. If you're planning on buying this projector, I highly suggest it. It looks nice. It looks, I like the colors and now it's getting some optimization done. And also, also I'm going to share something with you guys. I heard the 3D option uh, feature is coming in next year around February. So let's keep, let's keep our hopes up because I really want to get 3D in this projector. I would like, I would love to watch my 3D movies in this big screen, ALR, I mean, laser projector, 3D, perfect. So that will be so awesome if we get that update as soon as possible. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.